is Outnumbered. I'm Emily Campagno here with my co-host Kaylee McEnany and Harris Faulkner. And also joining us today, Culture Plus Group co-founder and CEO Lily Gilvaletta and the host of Jimmy Fela. You hi, come hi. from a strong family history with, with a lot of police officers in your family. Yep. And earlier, the police banelli door cases like this one. 100%. We've broken the compass in society for the criminal than the victim. Certainly more of empathy for the criminal than the cop. And I think that's emblematic of the aftermath of the summer of 2020. But there's a reality that at the tippy top of all of these state governments and certain... I am shocked by this because I didn't realize we'd migrated so far as a society that we would give criminals who potentially have come across the border illegally the same rights that our people have, which have been mitigated so much by soft on crime or crime against us. And then you let them go per the things that are criminals who don't respect this country enough to try to get in line and come here illegally. Full stop. And, and just one thing to add, and I'm sorry, okay, what frustrates me is this is not a political issue, okay? Crime affects all of us. When you get mugged, they don't ask who you voted for. And this is a moment where you realize the point you just made is not a conservative point, it's an American point. It, America's it, better than it's this. It's a true point. Yes. We have Spot sovereignty on. as a nation. Spot I don't on. care how you vote them. <laughs> Well, and it seems, Kaylee, that in that equity PD get assaulted, and that's supposed to be okay. We know last year's numbers here alone reached 100,000 illegal immigrants. At least the fact pattern we have currently, the charges, assault of a police officer, gang assault, obstructing governmental administration, disorderly conduct. You mentioned it should be if it is not already. And to your point, the kids, remember the pro these men too, these young men, 19 years old, 20, 21. Yeah. We also have reported on a host that have come through with the zero ID. Remember, photos are elected at the airport who are claiming to be minors so they get the protection as well of this amnesty light that this administration likes to subject Americans to, which only render us more dangerous and these kind of crimes that we watch on live TV. That's right. Sex change surgery in California. That's right. Although I, I love your word. However, all of us have been deprioritized and that is Biden's America. Coming up, President Biden is finally making his way to East attacks on the pro-life community yes. alarming because this is why trust in the legal system and even our Supreme Court is at an all-time low since 1973. That in itself puts the democracy and integrity of who we are at risk. We have to make this... Wait, 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 wait. Is he saying that the daylight versus the nighttime light is... And this is why we're at a dangerous point in our country. People do not honestly believe we're seeing an equal application of the law. Well, we're he, not. No one knows... Patently, and for the Attorney General to come in and admit, or Christopher Ray admits, 70... Devastated. It's tyranny of the minority. It again is. Again and again and it again. It is, and the FACE Act had only been used 12 times before the Biden administration came along. Right. Mark Halk, remember that guy, raided with guns at his home in front of his kids? Thankfully, we still have juries. He was found innocent. On to this. A man is now facing hate crime charges after he destroyed a satanic statue. More on that next. Every day. I really have become the, hey, you kids get off my lawn guy. And I feel bad. But I really look at the world and I'm like, what is this? Can I have a quick follow-up? Who Give it are they to you? The statue people? Mm -hmm. What I consider them to be, okay, are slacktivists. Slacktivists. Act Aunt Jemima. No more logo. No more Mrs. Butterworth. No more statue in the park. That didn't boost test scores in a city. It didn't lower crime rates. Mm. But it gave them the currency of slacktivism. Here's my video. Give me a bunch of likes. I'd like to feel good about myself myself for five minutes. That's what runs the world now. Digital dopamine. People shoot up likes in their veins to feel virtuous, but they're destroying the world around Very us. Very sad. It's gross. Mm -hmm. Actually. Yeah. yeah. Is that from your book? I was giving you kind we'll of a moment there. There. We'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and Kaylee, you know, on the heels of us, just Francis totally defaced. So 300 vandalism incidences at Catholic churches. Where are the prosecutions? Because that is a direct comparison. Yeah, show us your true color so we can vote you out. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I still hold a lot of worry for the election. I worry about what this yes. is. <laughs> yes, yeah. we are, which is yeah. the a scary I, I, part about it. Yeah. So this just erodes, keeps eroding the culture, making it okay for the sake of free speech when this is just plain right or right under a bushel. We must mm -hmm. shine brightly. Yep, that's right. More outnumbered in just a moment.
last but not least, Jimmy. A for community college graduates. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be admitting. Cancel culture dictionary. I invoke video games. Why? Because like everything else in society, what cancel culture did was take places we went to to have a good time and turn them into political battles. It's not a call to arms. It's a call to chill out. Because a lot of these battles that were waged in the name of power or progress didn't actually bring us any as a society. I alluded in a previous break to Aunt Jemima being canceled. What did that help other than a poor black family get screwed out of royalties they were receiving fighting the wrong battles okay and what i'm trying to do in this book is i give 26 examples of things that were canceled someone told a joke <laughs> we didn't like or sang a lyric we didn't like and areas we used to go to to escape the divine kid okay my white parents yelled at me for having too much ice cream now my ben and jerry's ice cream yells at me for having white parents okay <laughs> we're doing it wrong america and all this is is a bump if you can hang out with me. <laughs> no, you want to give back. No, you want to give back. We talked about <laughs> all of was. that. And we talked That's most right. importantly no about how all of these cancels are superficial because a lot of the people do come back. Of course. So the only thing we have sure for a guy of my intellect, I'm trying to use it to help. <laughs> and you can help by going to foxnewsbooks.com <laughs> to help me win the war on fun. It's That's like right. a telethon for culture. Do we have any right. of your taxi cab stories in there? I love them. You those. better believe we okay. have taxi cab <laughs> stories. <laughs> and we have a virtual signing tonight at 6 p.m. Anything you want. Anyone can ask except my mom. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> so much, so exciting, Jimmy. Thank you for that. Yes. Everyone read that amazing book. And now here is America Reports.